What's up guys, I'm back here with our 2023 BMW S1000 RR and today we're talking velocity stacks. And while these velocity stacks make crazy power, and we're talking five to seven horsepower up top with no loss in the mid or low range of the power band, this bike specifically made 200 wheel horsepower and our M1000 RR made 204 rear wheel horsepower and that is partially thanks to these stacks. And while our stacks are great, some customers are having issues with power and they're having issues with install and leakage from the stack. So we're gonna go over that right now. Let's get into it. First, in order to get to the point where we are able to talk about the bike itself, we need to get into that air box. So let's do that right now. Yeah, I wish it was that easy, but it's not. So now we've got this bike taken apart. If you want a video on how to take a bike down to this level and install our stacks and a full instruction video on how to install all of our products, uh, go to our website, go to our resources page. But if you want the stack install specifically, click there. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about the air box and what are some horsepower restrictions people don't even know they're doing to their bike. So now we got the air box here. Let's talk about what are some restrictions people don't even know about with this bike. So a lot of people are running the paper filter and no aftermarket air filter and expect to get the advertised gains from our stacks. That's not gonna be the case. You're gonna need an aftermarket filter in order to get advertised gains with our stacks. So that's one of the first mods you do with the stacks itself is the air filter itself. Now, a lot of people or some people don't like Sprint. They may want to go somewhere else. We also offer DNA on our website now, and I'm running the Sprint filter on our S1000RR, and I'm running the DNA on our 23M1000RR. And if you remember right, our 23M1000RR made 204 rear wheel horsepower on 91 pump gas. And that, that was it with our velocity stacks filter, all our other stuff. An air filter is vital in order to get the most air in the bike. And of course, what we're talking about here is power. Air in, air out is the most important thing. Now let's get the filter out of here so we can look at the stacks. And here's our air box itself. Now, of course, we have a 23 S1000RR. So our 23 is going to come with the M1000RR air box. And we have also included our stacks in the air box itself. Now the stock stacks themselves are fine and good. Our stacks actually make more power up top and don't lose any power in the mid or low range if this is done correctly. And I've also seen another thing I'll bring up to everyone's attention here is this vital part right here on top of the air box. This right here is the servo that moves the funnels up and down. Without moving these funnels up and down, your bike loses a ton of power. So if you are putting your bike back together, and you lay the harness on top of this, it's really easy to forget about plugging this piece back in right here. So just a recommendation, you guys should always, if you have a huge, massive power loss uh, after you installed our stacks, it's most likely due to the fact that you didn't plug this back in. We've seen it multiple times. Another complaint we get here is about oil in the air box. Now, the oil in the air box isn't from the stacks. The oil in the air box is from a breather tube. Now, there's a breather tube in the back of this thing right here. This actually connects to the engine, and if you overfill your oil, or if your motor's a little bit loose, you're just gonna start sucking up all kinds of oil into the air box. And when it does that, I mean, you can see there's no oil in ours, but when it does that, you can see the oil gets into the air box, starts misting all over through here, and actually gets inside the motor. And if you got enough oil going inside of your motor, it's gonna reduce your octane uh, if there's enough oil in there. So you wanna make sure there's no oil in, your, oil in your air box. And if it is, you may have a loose motor, if it isn't a loose motor, maybe you've overfilled your oil and that could be a cause of it filling up the air box. Now, a little bit of misting is fine, but heavy, like it's dripping, dripping, and there's like a puddle in this thing, that's a problem. And the reason people are complaining is because our stacks aren't a complete seal against the air box, meaning there's a little bit of leeway right there. See, like a little bit of give right there. Now, our stacks are perfectly round, but sometimes the hole that BMW created in this air box is out of round, meaning it's not a perfect circle. So you can see this one's a little bit loose. This one here, a little bit loose too. And you should be able to turn this thing over and see just from this, you can see it's a little bit loose right here. So if you're leaking oil from the velocity stack itself, it's not a result of the velocity stack. It's because your motor obviously is projecting oil and it shouldn't be doing that in the first place. But if you'd like it to stop and you'd like to keep the oil in the air box, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first thing guys, we have our revised stacks here and our revised stacks actually have like a little rubber gasket right there that fits in that hole and it should alleviate all the issues with oil dripping from the stacks themselves onto the motor right there. Now, if this isn't enough, we have another method here, but if you guys do not have this and you have some oiling issues, 
email us. We're happy to send you this for free. We'll send you this mod for free. You just add them to the stack itself, reinstall it. This should eliminate the issue. If it does not limit the issue, you want to get some three bond stuff here. Now, this is liquid gasket. And basically this is a black liquid gasket that Ducati uh, uses for their bike stuff. We like to use this stuff because it's easy to go on. It's thermal, meaning it's not gonna heat up and get destroyed. Uh, it can come off when we want it to. Super easy stuff to deal with. This is good. It is not cheap, but it is good stuff. You can use any gasket you guys would like or any liquid gasket you guys would like. This is what we have and this is what we prefer to use. So that's why I'm recommending it. First, what I went ahead and did is I used a flathead screwdriver and pulled off the ring here just by prying it up pulling it loose and the stack comes right out. Easy, easy. And you can see here the comparison between this one and the newer revised one. Only difference right here is going to be that rubber gasket and that's it. Now I would use something like brake cleaner. This is chain cleaner, of course, which is the same thing, but you need to get the oil out of the air box. If your air box has a lot of oil in it, make sure you clean the oil out of it before you start using liquid gasket because otherwise the liquid gasket will not seat or stick to the air box itself. Once your airbox is clean, now it's ready to go ahead and put some liquid gasket on the stack itself. So we're gonna use the stuff here, right there. We're gonna make a nice little bead across the whole thing here. Now that we're done making that bead, we're gonna take our hand here, and just make a nice ring with it. Now that you've made a nice bead around the stack, you can go ahead and install it back into the airbox. After installing, go ahead and put the ring back on it and you're good to go. Now, if you secure it with the ring and you do all four of them like this, you wanna leave this air box out overnight. So I'd say for 12 hours, make sure it cures before you install it back into the bike again. And you can see right there, we have a nice bead and seal around that stack. Now it's ready to be installed after the cure time. And let's go over again, the reasons why people aren't making power. Filtration, very important. You need an aftermarket air filter if you wanna make power with stacks. That's the most important thing. You want to make sure there's no oil in your air box. And if there's an excessive amount of oil, we want to reduce that. So again, you want to make sure that the oil level on your bike is where it's supposed to be. Next, make sure you're plugged in right up here. Make sure these funnels are plugged in. If they're not, you're going to lose a whole bunch of power. Not just on the dyno, you'll feel it. It'll feel like the bike is just a dog. So make sure you plug that in. Also, Make sure you're not filling your box with oil. So if your motor's loose, that's one thing, but if you guys are purposely overfilling your oil, this air box will fill up too. And like I said, the more oil gets in this air box, the more it atomizes and goes in the combustion chamber and lowers your octane. That will reduce your power 100%. Again, guys, the stacks themselves are not leaking. It's just that the air box is out of round, meaning it's not perfect, and the oil leaks through this. We're more than happy to give you guys the gasket on these for free, or you guys can do your own siliconing on the gaskets, or sorry, on the air box itself, silicone the stacks to the air box to ensure this does not happen. The reason why it doesn't happen with the stacks is because the rubber stacks that are stock are malleable and move within that hole and move to the actual portions of the hole, whether it's round or not perfectly round. That's why it's blocking the oil coming out. But regardless, the stacks are not creating the oil. The bike is creating the oil. It's just you're actually seeing it. Also with stacks, it's important to mention that our IET kit, you see the IET way back there, that little metal piece right up there, that's important to keep the bike's power consistent, especially for on a dyno. It's not gonna read a crazy temperature, it's gonna read a much lower temperature, which will help you make more power on the dyno as well. So I think that's gonna do it for us today, guys. If anyone has any concerns or questions, please feel free to email us at sales at bt-motor.com. We're very, but we're very good about getting back to our customers and alleviating any concerns whatsoever, as well as we have a very knowledgeable staff that can help you with any issues you may be having. If you have any more questions, go ahead and post them up in the video. We may make some videos based on your questions. Now um, I get to have the pleasure of putting this whole thing back together again, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.